All right, everybody, the long awaited. I'm going to walk through your final exam for math. It is going to be released on December 1st and due on December 15th by 2.30. So let me share my screen. And this way you can watch this as many times as you need. And I'll just say this one time. I'll say it in class and I'll walk through this in class. But there it is. It says semester one final projects due December 15th, 2021 by 2.30 p.m. That is required to turn it in on time. Three parts. The first part is writing a creating a greeting card to somebody in a hospital in the hospital at Capulani uh, Children's Hospital. The second one is the genealogy project, and then you have your math take home test, which has our characters SpongeBob and Patrick. So the greeting card is where uh, you know I've connected with a an employee at Capulani Women's and Children's Health Center, and we're gonna create greeting cards for. Um, sadly, 70 students that will be spending their holidays, not at home, not with family, um, and especially during the COVID times, they can't see, they only have allowed two visitors. <clears throat> so they are spending their holidays in the hospital, which to me would be a very sad um, thing. So we're going to help cheer them up. Last year we did it. We wrote uh, cards to students at the hospital, and it's a part of our final exam that we do this. So we're going to create a greeting card to them to show our care. Now, this isn't just one line it needs to follow this rubric it needs to be neat it needs to have a drawing with three colors so yes three colors and i'll show you some examples it's going to have a nice message to a sick youth so you need to write that message it needs to have one inspirational quote and the author so you need to say um you know i'll show you my example and then it needs to have at least three complete sentences and the periods at the end capitalization that's the seventh grade grammar um, and then it needs to be submitted by the deadline Okay, so that's how you get a perfect score on this. So submission, you can either give it to me by um, December 15th, or if you, let's say you're an online learner, or let's say you want to just send it on your own, you can send it to Capilani Health Center, Attention, Emily Naulu, and um, Punahou Street there, 1319 Honolulu, Hawaii. So there's my example on the right. So there's the drawing on the front cover. You need to have a drawing on the front cover. You can have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, or, um, you know, uh, get well soon. There it is, the front. Okay, there's a drawing on there. It doesn't have to be a Picasso. It can be just whatever you can do. Three different colors. Here's the inside left. This is where you'll write your message. It says, dear friend or dear student or dear child or... Um, have an introduction. So you have to have that. And then it says, I cannot imagine how tough things are now, but I wanted to write today to send good holiday wishes to you. We're here at St. Louis, say happy holidays, feel better and have a great 2021. Mm -hmm. This is from last year, you rock. So there are three sentences, that last one. Yes, it's a short one, but that is. And then it says sincerely, so you have a closing and then your name. So Mr. Charles Claus. There we go. Inspirational quote is on the next slide. So it says, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters to what lies within us by Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I have my quote, I have my author, and then I have the drawing with three colors. So you see a snowman on the beach. And then the back, it has a wreath and it says made with love. You can put whatever you want on the back. Um, just make it nice. And remember, you are sharing this. Students will get this. So put some time and effort into it. I'll show you some great examples at the end here. The second part is we're going to do just a little bit of family history. Um, we're going to do what I call the genealogy project. You need one slide with a nice background and it needs to be submitted before the deadline. Again, same deadline. You need to have two pictures of you. And you can have one picture of your parents and guardian or guardians. Um, and one picture of each of your four grandparents. Okay, so um, this is a little genealogy. That's where we study our family tree. And please put the full names of each parent, grandparent, or guardian. Also, and I'm just going to say this one time now, if you, let's say you, you don't know your father's side, or you don't know your mother's grandpa, you don't have pictures of them, that is fine. It, just try to do your best to build out your family tree. And if it, it doesn't have to be clean, it doesn't have to look nice. Um, with that, you obviously need to make it look nice. But what I mean is if it's a, a, a family tree that's a little bit um, kind of all over the place, then that's fine. And I understand that. So, and also if you can't get some of these photos, I understand that too. Just talk to me. So here's mine. So you can see my full name at the top. Um, there's a picture of me in the top left as a young person and there I am in the top right. And then I have my parents. 
okay and that's my niece Margot. so then i have my mom on the left side so then her family tree goes that way okay so renee antoinette klausner niece so n-e-e is what you would say um when you talk about a maiden name so what was their maiden name and the name before they changed it to your uh most likely your father's name although that's not always the case then my dad's side so daniel dylan klausner senior there he is now my mom's side, she came from Benedict Ambrosoa and Emily Estelle and Soa, knee high tree. So that was her previous name. So there's a picture of her and there's a picture of him. And then there's actually a picture of him um, fighting in the Korean conflict. And then my dad came from Charles Mitchell Klausner, who's I'm named after, and Mary Louise Klausner, knee Mullen, and then she remarried to Roman. Okay, so that's kind of how you can do that. And that's one of her child photos so this is a family tree um, I, I have an example for you of a former student um, and this is what is required for section two all right part three is the math yes uh, this is math class so those two things are more like um, self-awareness as well as kind of community service um, so it's not necessarily mathematics but this test will be given to you on December 1st do not lose it I'll only give you one copy um, and then I also post it here and I'll post it online, of course. So there it is. 25 questions, although I do give you some bonus questions. Um, our characters are SpongeBob and Patrick. Now, this is the answer sheet. And I'm kind of weird with this, but you need to answer the answers on the answer sheet, meaning don't do it on the questions. You can answer them there, but you need to transfer your final answer to this paper. Um, it says, do not forget to answer here. Use complete sentences for word problems. That means they have a noun, a verb, and agreement. They start with a capital letter. There's a number in there somewhere, and then a punctuation at the end. Please circle your answers and highlight them as well. We've kind of gotten off track with some of the highlighting. Make sure you highlight your answers. I will count it wrong if it is not highlighted nor circled, okay? So please make sure you do that. That just helps me when I go to grade them so I can grade them really fast when I see exactly what your final answer is. And I know when I was in seventh grade, sometimes I'd write an answer and I'd put another answer by it just because I wasn't sure. And then, that, no, you got to choose the one that you think is the most true. So 25 questions. There's some bonus points in there. What does it look like? Well, here it is. So I'll give you this in person. You will have a copy of this. What do we have in here? We have percentages, integers, mean averages. We have scientific notation, complete the sequence, complex fractions, coordinate plane, exponents, um, evaluating, uh, PEMDAS, um, known variables, known expressions, quotients, um, and then of course, a bunch of really good word problems. So this is the final and it will be sent out on December 1st and due December 15th. So you have two full weeks. Remember, you can use your notes. You can use online resources, <clears throat> although I obviously want you to do this on your own, <clears throat> but you can use all the, the notes that you've taken this year. Use your previous homeworks. Um, you can uh, take this home and, and work with it for two weeks. So it's in our class when we have that final exam period, we'll be doing a survey and kind of we're doing a <clears throat> little activity, not, not uh, taking the actual test. So this is the actual test. So student exemplars. So I always wanna show you what gives you 100%. So last year, this is Kobe Bongalon. He's super student. Here's his three pictures up top. He went above and beyond. He went through his father's, that's paternal side on the left and then his uh, maternal, his mother's side. There it is, nice picture in the background, has the drawings, the lines that connect him to his parents, and that is an, a perfect example. So what about examples from the holiday cards? Um, you know, what a great line there, ho, ho, hope you feel better, and happy holidays, beautiful drawings, a deer, Christmas trees, Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas with candles and ornaments. <clears throat> this one down here on the left had a sparkles on it. Um, you can put that in there. Here are great examples. Santa Claus, Santa, uh, uh, you know, on the beach, the really nice <clears throat> Christmas trees at the bottom, got uh, ornaments uh, among us as holiday <laughs> cards. <clears throat> there you can see this one, it was like faded, super nice with some glitter. 
Uh, Merry Christmas. So these are examples of great activities from last year. So here you see his is, I mean, he just went above and beyond. He has the sprinkles, uh, really nice paper. I'll give you paper. And then he has this ornament on the back. He wrote this beautiful thing. Believe in yourself. You're braver than you think. You're more talented than you know and capable of more than you can imagine. Just an absolutely perfect example. <clears throat> Here are some more examples. There's a nice drawing of the cross. If we do try, uh, you can obviously draw Christian um, things, but it is nice to keep it non-denominational and um, not like I always say holidays, just because you never know what someone's faith is in the um, hospital. So, but there it is, dear child. And there he wrote, you must not tell you. They're just absolutely really good. I love these. These were some of my favorite, favorite things I saw from last year. So really nice drawings. <clears throat> And there it is. Okay, so that's it, guys. I know that's a long one. <clears throat> I know that's a long one, but please watch this if you're an online learner. If you forget what I say on the 30th of November or December 1st, this is your final exam. So good luck.